It's, it's a very strange world. Like, as I say, sometimes I don't know what country I'm in. If I see an English number plate, I think, oh, right, well, there's an English number plate. Then I think, oh, shit, I'm in England. The worst thing about travelling around is sitting on a plane on your own. The second worst thing about travelling around is being in a hotel on your own. The third thing, which is not nice about travelling, is eating on your own. Um, I think eating is a very social thing and to be stuck in your little room or big room or any room ordering a Hilton Club sandwich for yourself I think is very lonely. I've probably become a little bit more relaxed and more chilled. Not all the time, I'm not a chilled person at all but I think I'm a little bit more relaxed. Uh, about things, but when things go wrong when you travel, I really get fucked off. I really do get fucked off. When the plane is delayed by four hours, I am so fucked off. It's just like almost feel like getting a private plane and just flying out my fucking self. I think I'll have to because it's just getting on my nerves. I can DJ really, really well when I'm really fucked off. I can, I can be so angry. I'm trying to think when, I, when was I angry last um, in Cork, I think I was. And I felt they had the audacity to open their new club on the night that I come into Cork and invite everyone in for free. And I was just really pissed off that I just put so much aggression, so much aggression into DJ. And I was like punching the record decks, like in time of the music, and doing like weird shit with the needle. And I just like loving every minute of it, not thinking about it, just like, fuck this, you know, and just doing stuff and just like transform the arse out of things and just really, really loving it. And then sometimes I can get really, really trippy. It's, just, it's so cool when it happens. I've been to Paris about 40, 50 times. I've been to Holland about 20, 30 times. I've been to Brussels maybe 50, 60 times. So I've seen a lot of things. The week before I did three gigs, I did one in Portugal <coughs> on uh, Thursday and I did two in Ireland, one on Friday and one on Saturday. And so I'm sort of quietening down for Christmas now. Uh, so tonight I do obviously Paris and tomorrow I do um, London, Turnmills and then the week after I just do uh, Liverpool and uh, Belfast and then the week after that I do London again uh, and then I do on New Year's Eve I do Birmingham and London. So I wouldn't say that Paris is different from London and I wouldn't say London is different from 
I don't know, uh, to lose. Uh, each club is different, that's, that's the difference. Oh man, I'm so thirsty. I get totally lost in France, in Paris. Yeah? yeah. Completely lost. I'm starting to lose my sense of direction everywhere now. I rely on my satellite to tell me where to go. I, and now I've got a GPS in my car. Hello, how are you? Good? Bonsoir. When I first started DJing a long, long time ago, I used to carry around six massive metal boxes. Um, and then I managed to get it down to three and I felt really proud of that. And then I managed to get it down to two and when I started going, traveling around the world, DJing in different clubs, um, I used to carry uh, two two big record boxes and thought, yeah, this is great, and then end up with a really bad back and then have to wait at the luggage belt for like half an hour. And it was always the last fucking things that came off the luggage belt as well. So like, you're sitting there waiting there. And then I worked out that if I could carry my bags on as hand luggage, I would save myself roughly five days a year. You can come in. It's okay. Okay. So okay. hmm? Thank you. So I can still not play maybe 20 or 30 records in there. Um, and it, just, it just made more sense and I became more concentrated on what I wanted to play. And why carry loads of records around when you don't have to? I mean, ideally I'd love to carry around maybe 25 CDs in my pocket so I don't look like a DJ and not have to carry anything, stick it in there. That that would be great, but CDs when you DJ with them, they they feel like shit. So I just that is my I am a camel, and those are my humps. And I have to carry them around throughout the jungle. It's a bit of loneliness in here, isn't it? I like that though. Yeah. It concentrates the mind. It's um, and it gives I like space. I really like space around me. I find I get a very easily mentally claustrophobic if, if I feel there's a shitload of people around me. Um, so for me, this is my area uh, before I go and perform. And then in that box, that's my area. And then when I finish, I come back to my area. I like space. I like space. Maybe it's because when I was younger, I didn't have very much space. Uh, not I didn't have a big family, but the rooms I was in but very, very small, I mean, tiny. For me, I think possibly space is one of the, the ultimate luxuries.